It's the final day of the Autumn Racing Carnival tomorrow at Royal Randwick, wrapping up a fantastic carnival of racing. The all-age stakes and the champagne stakes are the final two Group 1 races of the current season. Peter Moody will be aiming to end the carnival on a high with his two runners, including grand campaigner Dissident. He's won a Group 1 here at Randwick and he's in great shape. Uh, we just know he's not at his top on real soft ground. He's a Group 2 winner on the slow, so uh, we've just got to look to the heavens and pray that it doesn't arrive. <laughs> Dissident's already a multiple Group 1 winner, and after his last start in the All Age, he'll be headed back to the stud farm after coming out of retirement once before. He's raced at the top level his whole career, started off in Group Racing and he's going to finish in the Group 1 tomorrow, so uh, four-time Group 1 winner, multiple Group 2 and 3 winner, so, uh, you know, be deserved if he could go out... Uh, with the all-aged, uh, it's his pet trip. Moody's other filly in the Champagne Stakes is Pasadena Girl, and while she's only had three starts, she did finish fourth last start in the size. It was a very difficult day to make ground on the Monday, and I think her and Chautauqua were probably the two horses most prominent that made considerable ground. So hoping tomorrow out to the mile, she might be holding a little bit more of a spot, but I think a natural pattern will be to settle back in the field. And the experience on the wet the other day I think will serve her. She, I wouldn't say she didn't handle it, she didn't know how to handle it, and really struggled, and the last little bit she flattened out and hit the line strong. So you would think going to the mile, there's a lot of positives there tomorrow. And... I would like just to see a better surface than was presented on that day. Gay Waterhouse has been the leading trainer across the autumn with five individual Group 1 winners, including Vancouver in the Golden Slipper. Tomorrow she tries to add to that list with Wanjina and Street Rapper in the Champagne Stakes. Street Rapper's been crying out for a mile, so you know he'll be well suited going up in distance. His run, his run at Rose Hill was good. Uh, Blake Shin on him, he'll be an on pace horse as well. Um, Wanjin is going in in terrific form, he, he um, dominated the uh, Australian Guineas at Flemington and there may have been a decent group of horses behind him also with Kermadec coming out and winning the Doncaster. He's freshened up nicely, he's had a nice trial, a couple of nice gallops leading into it so he's going in fit and well. What's the celebration for the team when you win four or five group ones? Does the, the boss put it all on for you? Uh, actually, yeah, yeah. No, we've got a big Sunday down at uh, down at Fiorente Farm, and uh, got a big busload of staff going down. Um, so it's it's going to be a big day down there.